guys. Oh, I love episode four. It was literally like exactly what I needed. Like exactly. We we cleared the air. We got some shit out. I mean, yeah, some things, you know, kind of piled on top. But I seriously, uh, I loved this episode. I loved it. Like they woke up in bed and like Sui, you know, his little face. I just love him. And I felt really bad. I know I've been talking a lot of shit on Gashida. And honestly, I still will. He's still stupid. <laughs> but like, I really get like his self-esteem issues, like with the whole situation. Like, I mean, it's a whole like kind of self-sabotage kind of thing. You know, it's like just waiting for like the other shoe to drop. So he was already thinking of like excuses to why Sui like wouldn't want to be with him. And so like when he was like given those reasons, he was like, OK, like that's it. But like, yeah, he like still couldn't give up. But I'm really glad that, like, Sui, like, honestly, if you were to tell me this is, like, how Sui was going to be in episode one of last season, I'd be like, yeah, right, okay. But, like, he really is, like, a very caring and, like, emotional person and, like, <laughs> and when he got the bracelet, I was like, I knew you didn't throw that away, you little bitch. <laughs> oh, it was so sweet and, like, I'm, ugh. I don't know. And then it was just cute. Like they, you know, they got us in our feels and then they were like, here's a little funny thing. Like, I loved it. I love when their interaction was like genuine and like just like lighthearted again. You know, when Gashida was like, are you crying? And he's like, no, you're a pain in the ass. I literally, I love that moment. And then he just cuddles him, punch me in the face. Oh, I loved it. I loved it, but also I was like, okay, this isn't it, right? Like, there's a lot of things left unsaid. <laughs> and, of course, I Bingwei brought it up and kind of, like, told Sui's, like, kind of backstory on it. And once again, brought up the quote-unquote American girl. And I was just like, at this point, why haven't you fucking just said something about it? Like, come on, Gaoshida. And then, oh, oh, don't even get me started. The first scene of the episode where, like, he was with his mom. And she was like, tell Sui it's, like, my fault. Like, I was sick and this, this, and that. I'm glad no one's dead, okay? Let me just put that out there. But, I mean, it's not like telling Sui what is happening. It, that, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't, like, that big of a deal. Like, okay, well, yeah, his mom was having health issues. She had a kid, da-da-da. Like, why wouldn't you just tell Sui that, like again, I think it was a whole self-sabotaging thing. He was like, I don't know if I really deserve him, like, blah, blah, blah. Maybe, like, a subconscious kind of thing. I know these are fictional characters, and I'm probably delving too into it, but, like, I just don't understand why you wouldn't just explain what was going on. Like, my mom's sick. I have to take care of her. She's pregnant. Like, I have to take, help take care of my my nephew right now. And, I mean, not my nephew, my my brother, I guess, yeah. And, like... What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? What other girl would you maybe be around? Um, Your stepsister or whoever the fuck that was. I'm assuming that's who they are. <sighs> and I'm like, uh, her accent really did throw us off, though. I know people are like, no, it's it can't be her his stepsister because her accent, da, da, da. But I think it was just probably all they could find. <laughs> they couldn't find, like, a very Americanized accent person at the time. Because obviously, I'm, this is probably still filmed like in Taiwan and stuff like that. But man, <laughs> Sui is just, I fucking love him. He just like, he just says the best things. Like, first off, I was like, okay, fuck you, Gashida. He was like, don't you want me to explain like why I couldn't talk to you and why I was with this girl that I keep hearing about? And I'm like, bitch. You don't say that. You just start explaining. <laughs> it's not up to Sui to ask you. And I mean, maybe to a point it is. But like also, if it's already on your mind, why don't you just fucking explain it? Hello, Gashida. That's what I'm saying. Like, I get a lot more of Gashida's emotions. But like, again, he's still kind of stupid. <laughs> and oh, and that's why I love this scene so much. Because like, seriously, like, <laughs> Sui was like, why Why would I need you to explain that? Like when you're obviously stupid enough to like take a deal my dad was offering you when you knew it was a trick. 
and like do all this stupid stuff. Like, obviously, I don't think it was coming from a malicious point of view. And I, I love that. I love that. <laughs> I seriously, I'm like, yes, Sui. We know your baby's dumb. It's okay. And Gasha is like, yeah, okay, I was kind of dumb. My bad. All right. I still would have liked him to explain it, though. Like, it's not that hard to be like, oh, that was my stepsister. Or my mom was sick and I'm stupid and was like sabotaging myself or whatever. I just don't, I, I just don't get why he didn't just say in real time when all that stuff was happening. What was going on? I don't understand. <laughs> it's not like he had to be like, oh, I'm blaming my mom. Like he was like saying to her. No, it's like literally this is what's happening. This is why I can't come back. Okay, done. Cool. Nice. Cool. <laughs> but I am just really glad that like they're on good terms again and like whew, like we can breathe like I don't think anything other than the other side couples is really gonna cause us like issues well obviously I from the trailer and stuff Gash is gonna like confront the dad again but I don't think it's gonna be as dramatic like as we think because yeah I mean and then we found out the dad like was somehow the one like stopping the emails from getting through so I can really see how Chewie was like pissed off if like he was only getting texts every now and again and like wasn't getting any emails back and da 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 and da 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 like I get like why Sui would be like well what the fuck dude but also like Gashida come on <laughs> you, you can text him like just text him tell him what's up okay anyways besides the point I'm really kind of excited to see the dad in the next episode <laughs> Like, I, oh, I don't know why I love the dad so much. I know why. He's just the best. Even though he has his flaws. And that's why I have a love-hate relationship with him. But it's okay. The other people who I honestly love, and I don't know why I haven't talked about them more. I love the the employees of Gashida's company. They're so fucking funny. Like, I think they're such a good, like, comedic break. They're just out there, like, trying to live their best life. Like, in their, their fucking, like, cubicle job. Like... Oh, God, we're all about to be fired. Oh, God, he's trying his best. He's flirting with the VIP or the VIP, <laughs> the VP like, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> I just love them. They're so good. They're so cute. And then also like everything with like Shoei and Janjin. I literally listened to Gashida say his name. 80 times and I was like I got this I got it I got it but like my mouth just like won't form the words right so I'm sorry okay but like I feel like really bad for him like Zanzen ugh, I hope that's how you say it I feel bad for him it's like first off how did Gaoshida not know he had like the issues he has and like the mental problems and stuff he has because I feel like it's very obvious I don't know he was kind of just acting dumb when like his cousin was like telling him all this stuff like obviously I don't know Maybe just he, they just thought he was like quirky or something. But like also like why couldn't Gashida just tell him that's my cousin? Like I don't understand like why it's such a big deal to just say that. I know it's probably just dragging the plot on. But like also like poor Zanjen like <laughs> just tell him Gashida is your cousin or show you or show, show, show you is your cousin like. Gashida is being like all like cryptic and shit and like making it just worse. And I'm like, man, this kid just wants to know. I know we're like at work and shit, but like, what the hell? And also, how did Gashida not know that was the kid his cousin had all those issues with like 10 years ago or whatever? They seem like really close and I feel like he would know that. But besides the point, whatever, it's not my life. It's not my life. <laughs> but I just feel bad. I, I, I don't know if like Shoyi and like and Zanzen are going to like end up together. Like, is it going to be that kind of story? Like, from, like, their, um, the shows, like, you know, where, like, the actors, like, do fun things and things. Like, the two actors, like, seem, like, really close and, like, kind of, like, act like they do have this, like, very, like, cute, loving relationship, like, in the show. But it's really, like, been the opposite. So I, I really wonder, like, how it's going to progress in the next two episodes. And I feel like it's going to be a lot more of them in the next two episodes. And the other thing, Bingwei... And fuck me. I can't ever think of his name. Uh, you know who I'm talking about. I'm confused. I'm going to pause it. I got to find his name. I'm back. Zayu? Zayu. 
Ugh, I know I'm fucking it up. But Bingwei and Zeyu, like, I thought they were, like, an established couple relationship. Like, they were solid. Like, they were our, like, unproblematic couple in the series. <laughs> but, like, when um, Zeyu and Sui were talking, like, when they were having the drinks on at, like, the pier or whatever, like, Zeyu, like, was acting like they weren't, like, officially together. And that, like, Bingwei was just chasing them. Or maybe it's, like, a translation kind of error, like... Maybe it was kind of implying like, oh, I just, I just love fucking with him. And so he was like, maybe you shouldn't just fuck with him all the time because like he'll leave you or something. But like when Zhao Zay used like reply, was like, I don't know. I was just like confused. What do y'all think? But yeah, I think that's like all my thoughts on the episode. And I just, this is exactly what I needed. Like it made me in such a good mood and like gosh, it did. It's still stupid. <laughs> I, honestly, I was going to this episode and I was like, they're going to bring it back. They're going to bring it back. They're going to like explain everything. It's going to be wild. And I was just like, Ugh. it's exactly like kind of the trail. Like I assumed they were going to go down. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Gosh, it is just like, he just has low self-esteem, you know? And like, I honestly, I get it. I, I, I get why he made some of the choices and like where his mindset was, but like just... I don't understand why you didn't just tell him what was going on when you were in America. Ah, that's why, like, I was, like, having all these, like, crazy theories, like, in between seasons. I was like, he can't be that dumb to just not tell Shui what's going on. Like, it has to be, like, somebody's, like, twisting his arm, you know, something's going on. Like, something really, really bad that he, like, can't bring Stewie into. But literally, it was just, like, his mom got pregnant and was sick. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. <laughs> like, scream at me in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm probably missing something. And if I am, I'll pin it down below or something. But like, God. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>